Inside the offices of Pyro Spectaculars, located in the San Bernardino area of Southern California, Jim Souza is putting the finishing touches on a firework sequence for their upcoming showcase. Each spring, they preview their Independence Day program in front of a select audience of friends and customers. Come July, Pyro Spectaculars will be displaying variations of this program at more than 300 sites around the country. For nearly a century, the Souza family has painted fire on the earth and sky with both low and high level fireworks. Today, Pyro Spectaculars produces over 1,500 shows yearly, including the Super Bowl seven times, and a dramatic annual New Year's Eve display off Seattle Space Needle. The tradition begun by Jim's great-grandfather of carefully designing and creating everything by hand has merely gotten an assist from the new tools of technology. That's the real computer. It's what's inside here. And a lot of thoughts are always going through my head. And in, never know quite when or which one has the most influence. It could be just driving down the road. But I'm always trying to blend together. Music is a great inspiration. Yet I may have a great firework effect. I know I have to get in there, so I have to find the music to that. So now we're a few days before the, the big event, segment. Jim holds a production the meeting. Is going, Present is, is the staff perfect. who has helped design the showcase. Want to bouncing back and forth to the to the beat, and it's going to look like this when we're done. It's going to. Everyone's excited as he talks the through the pyro musical, the, animation, the songs, nice narration, and array of low and high level fireworks that will complement a series of set pieces or large scale fire pictures, tracing in broad blazing strokes American history. On the company grounds, converted World War II bunkers serve as magazines for storage of the more explosive aerial devices. A worker pulls from bins the 400-plus shells that will create the high-level backdrop for the pyro musical showcase. In another facility, skilled artisans are assembling the 4th of July set pieces, patriotic icons that will burn brightly all across America. Making the set pieces, it's still very much an ancient art. It, it's still done by hand. It's, it's real physical work to, to, to take the bamboo and to make the different shapes. It, it's very physical, very time-consuming and labor-intense, and so therefore it's very expensive. And so the, the trend lately in, in the fireworks community is to just pump up a lot more aerial shows, which are, which are good and, and beautiful. We do that as well, but it still goes back as a family tradition to, to really feature these animated set pieces. On the morning of the show, scaffolding for the set pieces goes up at the Los Angeles County Fairgrounds. Years ago, set pieces were a common part of all fireworks displays. Today, they are almost a lost art. Yeah, okay, these are going to move over, straddling this line. So obviously you've got the flagpole, that needs to move over, then that section, then this section. Bring it back this way a bit. Pick it up real slow. Nice walk. Yeah, I just move my foot to make sure you don't slip out and don't get a frame. Pick up on the front, just one more. More on the back, more on the front. The set piece gives the fireworks artist a chance to be really creative in the design. Hundreds of tubes the size of a pen are filled with fireworks composition that burns with a red flame, a green flame, a blue flame, a white flame. They're paints. The tubes are all connected with a very quick burning fuse. The fuse is covered, it's encased in a tape. Either a tape or a paper wrapper over black powder confines the hot gas underneath, beneath the wrapper, and the flame jets down the tape very, very quickly, hundreds of feet per second. Because the setup of a show as large as this requires so many workers, fireworks companies must train and keep lists of qualified people in states around the country. They will usually send out a few of their own people to put on a show, which they will then supplement locally. To get the certification needed by most states, pyrotechs put in a required number of hours under the supervision of a pyro master, of which there are several in attendance today. The time volunteers spend setting up this show will count directly toward their certification. This show is, is the first big show of the, of the new season 
and these firework enthusiasts are so eager to get their hands on it again, they come out here, they get no pay, they get a pyro t-shirt, a la, okay? Roman candles are very popular in fireworks displays. They are usually fired in batteries of three or more, arranged on a fan-shaped board or spline to give a low-level effect. You can angle them, cross them, and then above, place higher aerial shells for a great combination of effects. Roman candles are repeating firework. The manufacturer makes them by starting with a clay plug in the bottom, a charge of black powder, propellant, and then a large star, a pellet that'll burn with a red color, a green color, and then they press a, low, a delay composition, a slow burning mix, but then black powder, star, delay, black powder, star, delay, light it from the top, delay burns, hits the black powder, shoots the star up in the air. Delay burns, the next star gets shot. 10, 12, 15 times, depending on how many stars you have in the can. Fireworks chemistry is based on the principle that fire needs fuel and oxygen to burn. And since pyrotechnics is the art of manipulating fire, all fireworks start with these two ingredients. You begin with a basic mix that will contain an oxidizer. And here we have potassium perchlorate. This is a very commonly used oxidizer in fireworks. And we have red gum. This is a powdered gum that comes from Australia, makes a very, very good fuel for fireworks. On here, we'll light the potassium perchlorate. Nothing happens. We light the red gum. Absolutely nothing happens. Now we're going to blend these two together. And we'll put some of our red gum potassium perchlorate mix on here. Put a fuse in this. Together, the two burn beautifully. To make color, fireworks manufacturers take the basic mixture of fuel and oxidizer and add other compounds. For instance, the elements strontium and chlorine, when present in a flame or explosion, will heat up and combine together to produce molecules that give off a bright red light. By varying the chemicals added to the basic mixture, manufacturers are able to produce all the fabulous colors of a fireworks show. The color depends on the wavelength of the light emitted when fireworks burn or explode. When light energy passes through different compounds, it tends to bend or refract at different wavelengths of the visible spectrum. Strontium, as we have seen, produces red light. This bending causes all colors appreciated by human eyes, young and old. Can we get one more person down on this line? There is a palpable tension in the air as the pyrotechnicians put the finishing touches on the arrangement of set pieces, Roman candles, fountains, comets, and aerial shells. All must be perfectly ready for the first cue and the thunder and magic that will ensue. Guests begin to arrive as darkness falls. Stand by in five, four, three, Two, one. After a stirring journey through American history, fiery symbols of independence, the show concludes with a volley of Sousa comets and a spine-tingling grand finale.
and they're just in heaven out there. I've got one guy who's just so happy to be touching them again. And they do it for free. You know what? How can you argue with that? And, and they're having a grand time. They get to see the show. And then they're going to be out here tearing it down, putting it back in the truck for another hour, hour and a half. It's dedication to the art. Oh, great. Thank All you, right. Jimmy. Thank like you. a victorious team, the pyrotechnicians come out onto the field after the show to congratulate one another. Sammy. The emotions that Good fireworks job. stir in all of us are especially strong at this moment for these hardy keepers of the flame.